we're going to look at a whole bunch of tools at once here um, and see how they can work together to edit an image. Um, the images you're going to need, as always, are going to be um, in the Pixlr video tutorials folder. And if you click where it says click here for the images I use in each video, you're going to be looking for um, this tractor trailer and the Reese's peanut butter cup. So I'm going to go ahead and open the tractor trailer in a new tab, open up the peanut butter cup in a new tab, and we're going to start with the tractor trailer. Pixlr, load URL, and then file open image URL and copy the Reese's. All right, so now that I've got both of those open, remember you can switch between by clicking up here, or you can click on this little icon up here to switch between them. And we're going to start with the Reese's peanut butter cup, so make sure you have that tab active. And if you were trying to select this, you might think, all right, I'm going to go to the lasso tool, um, because we learned about that previously, that you can um, click and drag over top of an image. But it's not going to get as close as you want it to. So you might think, oh, I know what to do. I'm going to use the magnetic lasso. And that often will work. But you may have noticed, look at that, it actually dipped into the wrapper and didn't get the whole thing. So I want to deselect that and uh, start over again. You don't have to do that. Um, there is a tool that is called wand select and it's right next to the lasso tool. I'll sometimes call it the magic wand or the, or the wand tool. And you can see the keyboard shortcut for that is W. And you simply click on a color and it will select just that color. So for example, if I click on the Reese's logo here, it's just gonna select anything that it sees with that same color. But right now it doesn't select all of that same yellow because not all of these are touching. That's where this button comes in handy here, this contiguous up here, or conti contiguous. Um, so if you have that selected and then you click the color, notice it selects all of that same yellow now. Or if I click on the orange, well, it's gonna get most of it, but only the exact same shades of orange. Um, so instead what I'm gonna do, rather than trying to get that to work, is I'm gonna click on this white space in the background. And that is gonna just select the white space um, which unfortunately is not what I want. I want the opposite of that. Instead, I'm going to right click on the image and I'm gonna choose invert selection. And notice there's a keyboard shortcut for that, control I for invert. And now look at that, it only selects the peanut butter cup. So that was really, really easy. So once again, I just used the wand tool, clicked on the white space. And then if I right click or two finger click, I can choose Invert Selection. You can also find that in the Select menu under Invert Selection. And now I can copy this, and I can switch over to the tractor trailer, and paste, and there it is, just what I needed. And you may recall, you can go to the Edit menu and Free Transform, and you could try to make this the same size as the truck here. And you may recall you can rotate that as well. But it's going to be tough to get it to fit perfectly. So instead of using free transform, I'm going to press escape there to get it back to the way it was, I'm going to go to edit and choose free distort. And instead of keeping it in a rectangular shape as you resize it, you can use these handles and you can drag those handles so it fits perfectly on that truck. Look at that. Well, eventually, <laughs> there we go. And it's almost as if that was supposed to be there. Look how easy that was. And you can either click on it and click yes, or you can simply press enter to change that up. Now, um, <laughs> some of you may be bothered by the fact that the color of the uh, side of the truck here, or the trailer doesn't match the color of the truck. So um, we can do that too, we can fix that too. Um, with a tool called the color picker. So what you can do is click on this little eyedropper here, which is your color picker. And the keyboard shortcut for that is an L for some reason. Um, but you click, I'm sorry, not an L, that's a capital I, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, and then you can just mouse over and pick the exact color that you want. So I want this nice bright orange. And then if you go to this tool, which is called Color Replace, looks like a paintbrush with a curvy arrow on top of it. You can just draw right over top of something. Um, so I'm on the wrong layer here. That's why it's not working. I want to go to my, this is why it's important to name your layers. <laughs> so I should call this Reese's. All right. And I should call this truck. There we go. And now when I'm on that layer, um, I just want to make sure that I have the right color there. And I'm going to switch these up. There we go. Okay, now I can finally color that in and recolor it to orange. And if I wanted to, um, I could <laughs> recolor the sky too, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo that. But again, uh, just to recap what I did there, because I, I made a couple missteps along the way. Um, after I renamed my layers to make sure that I knew which one was which, I went and, and was absolutely sure I was on the truck layer. Um, after sampling my color with the picker, the color picker, get that orange that I want. And you want this top um, circle to be active. So if for some reason, what happened to me, it started with the blue on top and the orange on the bottom, you could just click this switch colors button and that'll put the orange on top and then go to the color replace and then just click and drag. <laughs> Again, make sure you're on the right layer, Mr. Adams. There we go and it'll recolor that truck um, to that same shade of orange. And you don't even have to worry about going outside of the lines because it uh, somehow it knows. So try that out with, your same, uh, with the same Reese's peanut butter cup and truck images, and let me know if you have any questions.